Yeah, so here we go. Conditions in some of the UK's prisons are scandalous. Uh, they found, inspectors found um, lots of vermin, they found violence, prisoners have drugs. And some people say that this poor management is due to the fact that the government uses private companies, even though there have been found to be problems with state-run prisons. Um, other people say it's because of funding cuts and that affects both types of prisons. Uh, either way, the main thing is we don't really care and we would rather uh, think about um, a well-run hospital than a really good criminal justice system. So now let's go through those options. So A, we've got people are more likely to support spending on hospitals than on prisons. Now this is going to be correct because we've taken a couple of sentences together here. So we've got, uh, uh, we have allowed the situation to become very serious and why? Because for the most part, we do not care. Um, what don't we care about? Um, well, we would rather think about a hospital than a justice system. And this is all as it's relating to the funding cuts. OK, so that is why we would more likely support spending on hospitals than on prisons. Everything we need is contained in that passage. Let's look at part B. So the general public are not sufficiently aware of the scandalous prison conditions. That may be true. That may not be true. We don't have enough information to presume either way. Uh, C, the government should not allow private companies to run prisons. Again, this is going too far. We can't assume just based of the information given that this would be the case. D, funding cuts are the cause of the poor conditions in prisons, both state run and private. Again, this is going a bit too far because we've got, there's no categorical one answer. We've got lots of opinions being given. The, the, the conclusion of it is we don't really care about it is the main thing. And then E, hospitals have been made a greatest priority for spending the prisons. Again, it might be true. We just simply don't have enough information uh, about that. We don't know how much is being spent in either place. Um, and then final one here. So I think I've actually already gone through this passage. So this, this, this was the placebo one. So it's basically just talking about uh, advocates of alternative medicine think that more body, mind and spirit need to work together, whereas mainstream thinks this and they think mainstream people focus too much on the physical, but obviously the placebo effect combines body and uh, mind so even though they wouldn't agree with that you know technically that is also uh, mind and body working together in line with their beliefs so let's look at the options so a the placebo effect is considerably more powerful than people typically give it credit for um, again we can't this is not enough information um, it just mentions the placebo effect but it doesn't talk about whether it's powerful or not powerful B, all medicine involves interplay between the body and the mind. All medicine, that's too much. It's going, it's just, it's giving language that we don't want. C, if they want to be consistent, advocates of alternative medicine ought to be more accepting of the possible role that placebo effect plays in their treatment. That's going to be correct because we take that first sentence of what advocates of alternative medicine think that treating the body is about. And then that last sentence, uh, the placebo effect, what is it other than the perfect example of mind and body working together? Together, that is um, C. And then D, supporters of alternative medicine ought to reassess the effectiveness of alternative treatments in comparison to the treatments of mainstream medicine. I mean, maybe, but that again goes beyond the scope of what is being discussed. Here, we're just purely discussing, are they consistent in their beliefs, not what they should do as a result of that. And then E, the attempt to reduce any medical treatment to the purely physical fails to recognise the healing powers of the mind. That may or may not be true, but um, we haven't uh, got any information about what mainstream medicine and the physical powers and what they think about that actually entails. OK, so that is a really quick run through through how you should go through these drawing conclusion questions. Um, so hopefully it should be really clear to you uh, which answers are at least very wrong. And if you are kind of struggling between two, then just do that game of matching every single word in it and combining sentences and making sure that it makes sense. Kind of like separate it out from the passage, put it one, two, three, and see if that would actually work as a little mini passage of its own. And if it does, that should be the correct answer. But yeah, in the case of draw conclusion, make sure you eliminate everything else as well. Um, I hope that was helpful. And again, I will see you in the next video.